Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayson and thank you for joining me. We're having stage three attempts to the top side level, which was around 69.95. The market was rejected and finally dropped back towards the bottom side of the range of 69 cents. It now represents further weakness into the start of this week that could see a move back towards the bottom side of its range around 68 figure 35 and reassess from there. As traders slowly digest Friday's Reserve Bank of Australia's statement of monetary policy, along with that, also last week's 25 base point, which is the ninth consecutive rate rise to 3.35, the attention now turns to two speeches that the RBA Governor Phil Lowy will be giving. Along with that, attention will be also reviewed towards the Australian employment data. Along with this, this could most doubt give us much volatility in the market and therefore with the technicals remaining heavy, should eventually bring us back towards the bottom side of this range, as I mentioned at 68 cents and reassess, which is also seen where the 60-day moving average is. The market starts off to a negative tone for the euro, as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, edges higher to around 103.5. In light of the pattern, the call is towards 106.20. Finding or lacking support there would give us further slide down towards the region of 105.10. Looking ahead to this week, the market will be paying attention to the US CPI data with a projection of 6.2% year on year from a 6.5% with the core X food and energy reading expected to be around 5.4. A higher than expected outcome could easily continue to add momentum to the US dollar's rise after last week surged from the lows of 101 to where we are now, around 103.5. The dollar yen, the market is edging higher as it now awaits for the new Bank of Japan's governor announcement. In light of the pattern, the bulls are still looking towards this region of 132.80.90 that could see further gains beyond there to 134 to 136. With the technicals holding bullish, I feel the dips will be shallow or brief. The market still remains somewhat heavy for sterling after the UK GDP data that was released last week was at negative 0.5 versus the for former release of 0.1. The manufacturing and industrial production remained negative but delivered less contraction than expected. Besides of the US inflation, the UK CPI will be addressed this week which holds a forecast of 10.3% versus the former release of 10.5. In light of the call, the downside is still at 119.45 and reassess from there. We did see a good bullish response and an engulfing candle, but the rejection from that 121.45 level has put the bears back on track to take the challenge to the lower side of the range. We're still continuing to see the bears chip away at this level, 1,860. It did give way, but didn't actually break significantly. Now a close under there of New York will give us further downward projection that is towards 1,820.26 as I see a little safety net from the break and if it is decisively clear of the break that is then the bears will continue to weigh in heavily. Technicals are negative so a little upside expectations is seen this week and along with that we do have an engulfing candle that awaits confirmation that would also support the bearish call. Having rebounded the market, it still holds relatively firm for oil as it now looks towards the region of $82 a barrel. A slightly weaker stance, but nevertheless, where we can see at the moment, the market is a little bit whipsawed as we're trading into the new week session. But nevertheless, I feel that uh, the risk is still towards the upside. But as you can see, right back to where the market started back in early November last year, bears have camped out around this region. So any challenges towards there, we'll probably see another ambush and send us back towards $75. Well, that wraps it for the start of the week. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, happy to report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.